basically if you take the types of warehouse two you have that is on the base of ownership who owns the warehouse on that basis they have classified the types of warehouse and the, on the base of commodity stores the type of commodity which is stored inside the warehouse they have divided it into four. so on the basis of commodity store we are going to see the first one that is a general warehouse so general products that is products which won't be deteriorated due to climate or uh, keeping it for a long period of time so those kind of dry rational products are going to be stored in a general warehouse so mostly if you see it's going to be dry foods uh, grains fertilizers consumer products they are not going to be um, damaged by anything okay and they are not going to be damaged most frequently right so if you take these grains uh, food items if you take you must just take a look at or you must take care of it from uh, you must safeguard it from the insects or the rats or the pests what are there in the warehouse the special commodity warehouse okay so what is the special commodity warehouse special in the sense the type of goods which are going to be stored here is of a special character okay is really different from the other general products okay so a specific type of goods only can be stored over here so what type of goods are these petrol oil okay which needs a particular a different kind of infrastructure to store them can you store petrol in your godowns no actually you can the way you store it is through cylinders right those big cans the barrels what you have you store these are specific type of goods which need a specific type of warehouse so that's why it is special commodity warehouse okay so next we are going to move into cold storage or refrigerated warehouse so it's simple we have also seen this uh, now nowadays it has become a retail business also uh, most of these meat uh, are have started cold storage uh, retail shops technically what they do is they place the products under refrigeration to prolong its lifetime right so mostly perishable goods the goods which are affected by the climate which deteriorate or their life span is very very less so those kind of perishable goods they'll put it inside these refrigerated storages huge ones okay huge ones these are before they go in for sales they put them inside these cold storages or refrigerated warehouses so that the life span of that particular product is extended and the quality of the product is not lost right next one is climate control warehouse so things which are going to be affected due to the climate okay uh, take our dairy products our vegetables our fruits okay these things and all again perishable goods these things are uh, affected by the climate that small change in the climate will definitely affect the life of these things okay so for them they have a climate control warehouse uh something like a greenhouse okay where the climate the temperature the humidity the moisture everything is maintained okay in that particular climate control warehouse so right so next what we have is automated warehouse automated warehouse if you see okay a lot of products that is uh, tons and tons of products will be stored at one place so if you've seen food factory where the in the factory itself they do the product and for distributing the product before distribution what they do they'll put it in big pallets they'll roll it up with the plastic covers and they'll put it inside a refrigeration or inside a godown so that place is called automated warehouse okay so they would have uh, given the details of it when it was produced when it must be dispatched where it has to be dispatched so it actually this particular godown acts as a distribution center where all distribution activities will go ahead with it right so they'll have uh, have you seen the forklifts and all so they'll use those forklifts they will move it from one place to another 
they will send it for dispatching to that particular retail outlet or the wholesale, wholesale outlet so in order to run this warehouse you need a large amount of money and this warehouse can be used in a business organization which gives you a large amount of profit a large turnover lots of sales must happen in that organization so in that case only the organization or the company can produce a lot of goods several goods a large amount of goods and store in these warehouses and on top of all this fresh technology will be used in these warehouse not outdated technology updated technology will be used so everything will be in that barcode you go scan the barcode everything will be shown over there when it was produced where it has to go how many days it has been there in the warehouse everything will be uploaded in that barcode so likewise they'll use technology to sort out things in this automated warehouse